Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer Van Alstein, and here I am today with Dr. Caitlin Foss. Hi, Caitlin. How are you today? So great. Happy to be here with you, Jennifer. I'm so happy. So today we're talking about you, and I'd love for you to just introduce yourself and let everyone know who you are. Yeah, Caitlin Foss. I am a life coach for professors. I help them reclaim their time. And I just transitioned out of academia myself. I was a professor for seven years. I consider myself a time ninja, and that's part of why I help professors, because I uh, started my life coaching practice while I was earning tenure, while I became department chair, adopted a daughter out of foster care, and then there's other things in there like 10 publications, running a marathon, traveling the world. So that's amazing. I mean, that's like everything you, you did everything at once. And it's so hard to become a professor as it is that doing all those accomplishments and starting your life coaching business at the same time. That's amazing. So what got you into life coaching? Like what, what inspired that? Yeah, I was going through a career identity transition myself. I was turning 30 and just starting to feel lost on the academic ladder. I was feeling like, wait a minute, I thought I was going to be a professor for 30 years. I thought that this was my forever plan. I was living happily ever after, so to speak, and I was still had all these emotions and still felt frustrated at times and lost. And I thought, what's happening here? This was not what I was promised. And so life coaching and career coaching just called my name. It was like, oh, this is a thing that people do. And I loved mentoring students during my time as a professor. So coaching was like, yeah, I can help other people. I can help professors who feel lost. I can help them with their time. Let's do more of this. And I love that who you wanted to help most was professors. Like it it was something that you recognized. Here are some issues that I can see that that are common. And let, let me figure out how to resolve them for this particular set of people because I know them so well, right? For sure. It evolved over the years. I mean, when I first started, it was like, let's help the graduate students. And now, oh, like I am a professor. I've earned tenure. Help the professors. So everybody in academia uh, has been so great to help. And even people that are full professors or are at hospitals, for example, my clientele base has expanded. And it's so great. Everybody who's in the ivory tower, uh, like we all have this connection and language that we use together that We need to, you know, it's like we need to bond together and connect together and stay strong together. I love it. So let me just ask one more question and that's life coaching. Like why should professors consider it for themselves? Like they they definitely can benefit from it. And and from what you said, like you managed to do all those things at once. So why should professors consider something like life coaching? Yeah, I think about the easiest connection for a lot of people is going to the gym or having a personal trainer. So if you've ever had a coach, an athletic coach, you know that, okay, yeah, I can do this myself. I can play basketball myself. I can read books by myself. Sure. But when I'm on the court or when I'm in the field, I'm in the swimming pool, when I have someone that says, no, I need you to move your knee that way. Or, you know, what would be faster is if you go home and train this way that that is what life coaching is like. So when people like they are reading a book about productivity and they say like, I get the concepts in here or my clients that are uh, trying to lose weight or stop over drinking. A lot of professors say, I know I'm so smart, like smart enough to know all of this material. I know what to do, but I can't figure out how to do it. That's where life coaching comes in to say, Hey, like one, you can't beat yourself up. Two, here's the next step to take. Report back next week. We'll talk about what worked, what didn't, get you back on your path, and then keep like rinse and repeat. We're just going to keep honing in the skill sets so that you can go out and do what you need to do, like reclaim that time and stop overeating, stop over drinking. That's great. Thanks so much for introducing yourself and sharing a bit about life coaching. It's not something that I'm super familiar with, so I'm so glad you could come on the show, and we can't wait to have you back. Thanks, Jennifer.